What is up guys, it's Jack from Zillitech Minecrafters here with a tutorial video, this one being on how to use computers with Red Power 5 pre-release 2. So uh, first thing you're going to need obviously is a computer, I'm just clearing up my item selection. So the first thing you're going to need is a monitor, a CPU, a disk drive, and then you're going to need an IO expander then you're going to scroll up a bit get some ribbon cable then go back down I know I'm being a bit of a retard here get a fourth boot disk a blank floppy and just a building block so you can build your stuff at first I'm just going to use some cobblestone now just place those two above each other put the uh, CPU there this is a layout I like to use CPU there monitor there, disk drive there, then get a bit of your ribbon cable and put it to your IO expander. Now uh, this all looks quite complicated right now, you can delete these blocks if you want to, I'm just going to for now. If I you, I'd also carry a chest and another blank floppy disk because you'll see what we're doing in a minute. Okay, so you're just going to throw the stuff that you've used, so that, 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 that. Alright, you still need this and the blank one and you can put everything back inside <coughs> now the first thing you're going to do is grab the fourth one the blue one just put it inside there and then we're going to go to our CPU and just click start just leave everything else alone so uh, once you go to your computer it should say mine OS version 1.0 initialized and then you're just going to eject it and you're going to put it in here <coughs> sorry guys and you're going to put your blank one in and you're going to type in save uh, all in caps and quotation mark then you're just going to call it whatever you want to call it i'm just going to call it tutorial disk uh sorry guys this is going to happen a lot because my too many items then if you're on a mac uh if you're on pc just i think no <laughs> you have to hold shift and enter to enter okay guys because I don't know what it is it just does something okay now if we take this out we will now see that it's called tutorial disk so that's ready and with this you can do many things and um, what you're going to need is just some white insulated wire some orange and some magenta for now and also get some bundled cable and a couple of lamps white lamp orange and magenta respectively so he's going to put some ribbon cable down here this is one of my first tutorials on red power guys so if you like them please comment uh just like put that you want more because i've got my adsense pin through soon when well, no, i've got it through and now i just need to get paid but i've only got 30 pounds and the threshold is 60 so then i can get a hoppage hd pbr once i've got enough money or a roxio um to actually film myself playing minecraft xbox um max Payne free gameplays yada 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 okay back to this tutorial uh you should know what bundled cable does if you don't i'll put tutorial up on that but it's all coded in binary so uh practically that's one two four eight sixteen blah 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 practically it just doubles itself so due to the fact that these are the first ones in the actual pile that would be 1, that would be 4, that would be 1, that would be 2, that would be 4, that would be 8. 16, 32, 64, 128, like, keep goes on. Um, so, that is represented in the computers by typing IOX. So, if you look at this, and say I type in 2 IOX, then you have to put a little question, uh, uh, exclamation mark after it, that will light up 2 IOX. You can see this little red light comes on for the signal generator to tell you that it's on. Now, two IOX is turned on, but um, you can't have two on at the same time. So, if turned on one IOX, white one will come on. And if I type in four IOX, obviously the purple one will come on. Okay, so uh, 
that's all good getting them to light up you know that's a bit boring though because i mean we've got computers here that can have so much potential so say you want to make a little blinker we have to compile a program so what we're going to do is you're just going to put in a colon and then shift enter and it should come up with compile and practically what you're doing is telling it exactly what to do so the first thing you want to do is turn on the white lamp so we're going to put one iox space then you want to leave a or um enter then you want to leave a few seconds in a gap i'm going to leave exactly one second so you have to type in 20 ticks and that is a one second gap so it's on for one second then you want to turn it off by typing zero iox because obviously nothing zero isn't a value so that turns it off and then uh you just want to wait five ticks for that and then obviously you want to turn on the second one so you put two iox sorry rookie error here just not really paying attention i'm quite new to this as well so that will turn on the orange lamp there and then you want to hit enter 20 ticks and then you put zero iox five ticks then you do the same for four iox because it doubles so four iox 20 ticks And I noticed what I've done wrong, guys. I haven't given my program a name. So I'm just going to end it quickly. Because otherwise it won't work. Because you have to type a name in. Sorry, this is bad of me. And if you've been following along, you'll probably feel a little as silly as I do. So we're just going to call it name. Or blinker. Blinker sounds more appropriate for what we're making. Okay, and then you just put the same in. So one of X. X. So this, so this is what happens if you try to work fast. Okay, ticks. And it all has to be in um, caps, guys. Zero IOX. Five ticks. Uh, then two IOX. Twenty ticks. Zero IOX. Five ticks. Okay, all right. Now we're back to where we are, and then we just do the same for four. So four ox, but then it's just easier to stop the program. So you do twenty ticks. Zero ox. Then you have to leave a small gap. So you you just want to leave half a second. So ten ticks. So that means it'll only leave half a second. And then you just want to make a semicolon and hit shift enter. So that's compiled your program. Uh, program. So if you type in blinker, shift enter, as you can see, it turns on and it turns off. But you want to do it more than one time. What you can do is, say you want to do it five times, you type in five times blinker. Because it's telling... Um, the computer to, to do your program five times so one second cycle third then it goes fourth and fifth but uh if we're just going to place those lamps back quickly yeah <laughs> as you can see the uh cables are still being powered so uh, as you can see that went for its fifth run and so, uh, but that's a bit annoying because sometimes you don't want to keep typing five times, five times, five times. Well, what we can do now is program a, um, well, what we do is we do compiling again. So you do your colon and then you want to call it five, five blink maybe. They, you can't have any spaces. So, uh, then you're obviously going to type in. Now, you could type this in and you could do it five times, but that'd be awkward and hard. So you just type in blinker, because that'll run the blinker program. Blinker. Blinker. <laughs> blinker, blinker. Like that. Put a semicolon in, hit it, 
And now if we type in five blink, it should do exactly the same as what it did last time. So as you can see, it reruns all the way through. Now this can be used for a variety of things, such as, and we're gonna need to turn it into the day for here, this is why I have too many items on. And we're gonna, um, it can be used for things like moving frames about. Now if you don't know about frames, put that down, or make a tutorial on it, because they are quite hard to get used to. So, uh, scrap the lamps, and what we are going to use is, if you have it on too many items, it's quite easy to find. You just go to here. Uh, it's not always on page 11, though, because I got the paintball gun mod. I'm making a sniper with that. Uh, I'm making a server with it soon, guys. So, if you want to join, I will put in my next video the uh, link to it. As you can see, there are many teams. It's going to be sweet. So, yeah. Um, what you want to do is you want to grab yourself a battery box, a frame motor, some support frames, some solar panels, and then you just want to go back here and get yourself some blue power cable. I know where it is on here. So, as you can see, blue alloy wire. Because uh, stuff gets quite technical now. So, you just want to place your solar panels like this seven uh i'm on creative so this is probably an optimal setup for creative just like that so it receives as much power as it can so uh as you can see nothing is wasted except those two right there but um yeah just place your y down all the way through and this will gain a lot of power then you're just going to put your battery box at the end so that collects the um, power that the solar panels are getting so as you can see the battery box is filling up pretty fast so that's an optimal setup they're really hard to make in uh, survival though so that's why I'm showing you in creative because otherwise we would be here for days now as you can see that doesn't connect but if you connect some blue alloy wire that will um, carry it across so if we're just going to do that one thing we're also going to do is we don't need magenta wire anymore and we don't need bundle cable so we're going to get rid of them and we do need one more thing um, on creative d I would use it on creative because they're really resource heavy on survival but it's called a sonic screwdriver and we will use it in a minute now what you're going to do is jump and place a frame motor and then place it the same way but as you can see that one's in the right direction but that isn't so we're just going to right click until it turns around so uh as you can see the blue wire cable is automatically connected to it and it powers up when it's got these little blue bits on if it's not receiving power the blue bits will turn off but it's already received power and it's got enough to run now what we're going to do is we're gonna put just two there, then say one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's cool. So one, two, three, four, five. So uh, this is just our example right now. So what you're gonna use is you're just gonna cut that back a bit, like I did, and then you're gonna put white, also known as one IOX, to that one, and orange, which is obviously two IOX, over to that one. Now, if I type in one IOX, it will power the one going to the left, won't it? So, as you can see, it goes like that. And moves the frame forwards or to the left. Okay. Now, if we go two IOX, it goes the other way. So, that's all good, but we don't want to keep pressing one IOX, one IOX, one IOX to a light mine or something. So, what you do is you compile a new program. Let's call it forward. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go 1 IOX, 20 ticks, or you can put 10 ticks in because it leaves less of a gap in between. Um, and then you're going to put one, 0 IOX, 2 ticks. I'm just going to use 2 ticks because it's easy to use. Then you're going to put 
and then you're practically just gonna do it as many times as you need or you can do it once and then compile forwards so say you do that then you can do that so that's now a program so uh, then you can do compile a new program this is just an idea so now it's forwards instead of forward I'll teach you how to delete old programs that you don't need so as you can do forwards then you're just going to put forward forward Now this makes it as short and compact as possible. It's going to end the program. Now you're going to type in forwards. Ooh. And it should work. One. Uh, yeah, I see what it did, guys. What it does is you've got to be careful because um, it can't run too fast. So I put a two tick delay in and that was too fast for it to keep up. So... Um, what you're going to do is you practically just compile a program and now is a good time to delete um, so if you want to know what you can use see you can type in words in all caps and then to delete you just type in erase and then the name of your program so we're going to erase forwards forward Five blink and blinker because we don't need them anymore. That was your they were examples. Erase oh. erase five blink and erase blinker. Like that. Now if we type in blinker for example, you it should say this. Unknown token blinker. So what we're going to do is we're going to compile our thing again. So we're just going to call it left now because that keeps the name short. So we're just going to do one, IOX. Uh, 10 ticks is fine. Zero IOX. And then we're going to put a 10 tick gap. Just to give it time. And then we're going to end the program. And now, if we type in left, there you go. It moves. It moves left one. So uh, now we need to compile right. So put a colon there, right. So then we're going to obviously do two iox, ten ticks. Oh no, not one. Don't do one. Zero iox. Sorry for too many items popping on and on. I know it gets annoying. 10 ticks. Done. Now you can compile it. So say you want it to um, go forwards three times. It is going to compile forwards. So you're just going to put left. 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 So that means it can go forwards three times. So now if we just do that, then we look that way a bit more because the computer's done. And we'll change it back to day quickly. Let's go to noon. Now as you can see that's still there. So if we type in forwards, I'm just gonna press O and then go back. Do that and it goes one, two, three. Now we've got to do the same because otherwise it would just keep going forwards and you don't necessarily want that. So you're going to have to do backwards. Oh, yeah, I did it right. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't actually compile it. Backwards. And then you're just going to do right. And you have to do it all caps perfect, guys. So if you did what I did and did like left and right with caps on them, you have to actually put the caps on them so right 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 and compile so now if we type in backwards it will go right 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 and it will end up like that so uh you know you can mess around you can do absolutely loads of stuff with this guys this is just basic 
um, there is literally so much stuff you can do. Check online, there are some amazing people who make amazing things, like mines and stuff like that. But um, this is all from me, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later.